my earth signs. My name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here to do you guys the weeklies for this coming week of November 26th until December 2nd, 2023. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information as well as the Amazon link down below to my book, Accepting the Gift, as well as Putting Back the Pieces is on there too. Uh, do check check it on out if you're interested. All right, so we are going to do uh, Earth Sign Energy. Just a quick note, I am putting the timestamps. Uh, last week, it took whomever, <laughs> not mentioning names, uh, but yeah, two hours-ish before they actually showed up in the comment section. Once I realized this, I did repost it, plus I had someone that was nice enough to uh, repost all the zodiac signs again. Shout out to you, as well as the people who were putting them individually, uh, the timestamps, so I do appreciate it. It was noted, I, you know, I appreciate it. Uh, but I am actually doing it. I knew there was a little inquiry about where's the timestamp set. I am taking care of it. I just don't have any control when they don't show up other than reposting it when it's noted, okay, when I take notice. So let's get started here. This is the week for November 26th until December 2nd, 2023. I am also doing this by elements because I am kind of going through a little bit of a sinus issue right now. So I knew I was not going to make it without coughing, sniffing, sneezing, uh, you know, for a whole hour. So that's why I'm doing it by element. All right, hopefully I'll get the hour long video back next week. All right, so let's move on here. We're gonna start off first for the sign of Taurus. Taurus is 153. Sorry about that, I'm a little off. All right, Taurus here. 15 card spread. Ugh. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I get messages in my mind and I'm just listening and, you know, figuring it out here. Uh, but yeah, that was a little weird uh, message. Okay. So four swords, magician, the emperor, this tells me is that they can't stop thinking about you. Uh, and I do feel that give this some time, but they will be returning. I'm feeling that there's a little bit of guilt by them. Because you tried to contact them and they ghosted you here. They were up in their head. They didn't know what to do. That's where the bleh, came from. But I do feel that this situation should heal itself. But they need to let go of the confusion here. Because they do love you and kind of man up, I just heard. Uh, but yeah, with this lack of communication, okay. Uh, could Big time Gemini energy that you could be dealing with here. I feel like they needed their space, okay, as well. But you are their wish fulfillment. I'm feeling that even with the three of cups. That's wild. They want that happiness with you. Give them some time, Taurus. I do feel that they will return to explain things, to talk to you here. Uh -huh. Huh. I literally heard, this isn't my first rodeo, Deb. <laughs> that made me laugh. Uh, but yeah, definitely. You know that they're going to be coming back, okay, you do love them, and you're willing to give them their space to some degree, okay? I'm not feeling overly negative energy in your direction. I'm sure that some are going to be a little, you know, upset, okay, for lack of communication, especially being, uh, you know, when you show that effort and you don't get anything back. It's hurtful. I get that. Uh, but definitely what I'm feeling here is that this is all divine energy. This is a twin flame energy with the two aces as well as the emperor here. So above and below. So four swords, ten of swords, full. So when they have settled their mind, even though there's lack of communication, there's a new start of communication coming. Magician. Hang on. Oops. Did I do that? King of Cups, clarified by the seven of cups here. And the lovers feel like they think about you, but they definitely got up into their head and they couldn't make a decision what to do. The Emperor, the Page of Swords here, and the King of Swords. So... They refuse to communicate back to you when given that chance, okay, back in, back, you know, when this first took place here. Uh, three of Wands, the uh, Judgment here, and the Four of Cups, so things will improve. They're still working on their energy, I do feel that, but they do love you here. 
Eight of Wands, the Star, and the Three of Cups. This is going to be coming in. Once healed, they're coming to get you. You know, not in a weird way or anything like that. Nine of Swords, looking at that Ace of Swords. So they'll be coming in pretty abruptly, you know, fast. Communication coming in. Literally, I heard, they've done this to me before. This is not, I literally heard, this is not my first rodeo, Deb. Uh, but definitely you love them here and you're just kind of wishing them well and just kind of trying your hardest to, you know, still have the love for them and living your life too in the same sense. But you know, you know that they will be back. You're listening to your intuition. So they will be back. The story of this, okay, is they will be back. They just need to get past that um, energy of, you know, stubbornness basically. Uh, but they will be back, I do feel that, with that communication. Nice. All right. Moving on to Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right. Virgo is 609. All right. Virgo, 15 card spread. You could be stalking on them, but I really feel all in all is kind of like um, you're really throwing that out there. Like you want them back. You want this movement again after things came to an end here. Uh, they will be coming back. I do feel that. Now, for some Virgo, I feel that uh, when they come back, you know, here comes the good old Dr. Ruth energy story time uh, of kind of being naughty, you know, in their punties. Uh, But I do feel that they are definitely... Um, just looking for some. I don't know how to put that. Uh, but for others, I do feel that, you know, they are going to be coming clean. They are going to be communicating to you. Uh, they, You do need answers, okay, for sure here. Uh, now, not the, the overly aggressive one, okay, that is just looking for a good time, okay, but the other group of uh, people that are in this relationship here, you need that clarification, but you do miss them here. They're going to show that action in that other way, definitely, okay? Or they're going to attempt it here. You do love them here. I do feel that, but you're not. <laughs> I hear you. I just heard I'm not going to be putting up with nonsense, you know? Uh, but yeah, definitely. Uh, you make that decision, not them. Now, for for some, I feel that this is a with the 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 people that are coming back that have the wrong intentions of just having a fling uh, and not really caring too much. I, I hate to be brutal about it, uh, but I I do feel that um, you know that there's definitely work that can be put into this for sure. But I'm also feeling that. The people that are naughty thinking here, they're just going to burn you, I feel. But for others, I do feel that they are legit. You are their wish fulfillment here as well. Uh, there may be kind of like an emotional moment of I don't know what to do because you do feel that connection. Uh, but I do feel that majority of you will be picking this relationship up again, for sure. So let's do the above and below here. The Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the, um, the Chariot. That tells me is that uh, somebody could be stalking. I am feeling that to see what they're up to, if they're traveling, if they're going to see even with the holidays coming up too. you know, uh, the holiday that just passed, you know, uh, but definitely um, regardless, you kind of curious. I get that. Uh, but I also feel with the justice here and the king of wands, this tells me is that they're going to speak the truth. This is the non hyped up out of control. <laughs> Dude, okay. World, Seven of Wands, Page of Cups. So things came to an end. A little frustration, you know, but they are going to explain things and apology here as well, I feel, with that Page of Cups. Six of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Devil. This is for that. There's two messages going on. I apologize. But this is for that uh, person that is kind of like, I know you, I know what you want, and the answer is, oh no, son, kind of thing. Seven of Swords, you've, you've found, you got them. You got them good. Okay, Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, Two of Wands. So they're going to be a little pathetic to get you back here. Not the good dude, but the naughty dude. They're going to try 
every which way to get you back, okay? Because what they want is a little action and they're gonna keep on trying to put that work in. Now, in regards to the person that is not naughty, okay? You are really their wish fulfillment. You're gonna be a little overwhelmed what to do because you're kind of like, well, I don't know what to believe, okay? If you're, if you're in for the long haul or what, okay? But there is going to be a decision made by you to communicate uh, and work on this relationship again. That was very perplexed. And I was coming up with different sayings about the naughtiness. So anyway, I do that. I make up words too. All right. So let's continue on. Hope that helped Virgo. Let's move on to Capricorn. Capricorn is four, or 1048. We'll put this is a 15 card spread for November 26 until December 2nd. 2023. Okay. All right. So <laughs> this is going to be another one that's complicated here. Okay. It's okay. We got this. All right, meaning that there's not really complicated, but there's going to be different scenarios towards the end, and we all free will, free choice. Let's just shout that out, Capricorn. Uh, but you know, you have to you have to do you, you know, and figure this out too. You know, we're just suggesting, okay, and and trying to guide, uh, meaning spirit. Uh, but okay, so somebody's coming back. They're going to be communicating to you here. You literally feel like you're walking into trouble, okay. You're frustrated because they canceled out the communication, treating you better here. And really, really think about if you want to move forward with this person. Now, for those of you, I feel, you know, that are balanced, that you can make that decision, this relationship can work out uh, and it can come to a completion. But I feel that this person that can work out with you is not going to be overly aggressive, okay? meaning they're going to kind of in and out energy, check in on you. They're going to be sweet about it. You know, they're not going to be like rare right at you. Okay. In your face. Okay. So it can be worked out. There are some past issues that you want explanation to here, uh, but it can definitely work out. There's a decision made by you to make that choice. That nine of swords, man, that one has been coming out all like for all the signs. So Definitely either tears of joy of getting this relationship or tears of, you know, disappointment because I feel that this person is trouble. Okay. Now, I did pick up a lot of similar energy with Virgo. So you might want to check out Virgo too. It is hopefully pinned down below that timestamp to help you guys out. But definitely, you know, they. I feel that this person just the first set here just wants you know, uh, aggressiveness here. You feel it. Intuitively, you feel that they are trouble and they're coming back uh, and you want answers. Uh, but I feel that you're hurt because they ghosted, they cut out that communication. So just really think about whether or not you want this person back. Where others I'm feeling, I'm just rehearsing or, you know, going over it. For others, you know, you're willing to put that work in. You're going to get some answers. They are going to be truthful with that justice card. But you make that decision if you want them back or not. Six of Swords going up and down. Six of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Cup or Eight of uh, Pentacles here. So this tells me is that communication coming in. For majority of you, you're going to be balanced. Uh, energy and you're willing to put the work in okay meaning accepting them back through this work so the seven of swords the death card and the uh, ace of pentacles clarified by that uh, five of wands so no matter what they say there's going to be a battle because you automatically intuitively feel that they are trouble and you don't want that okay seven of wands clarified by the uh, the hermit and the chariot here and then the good old Ten of Pentacles here. So there's frustration. You feel that energy of deceit. Really think about what you want here. It's two-way street. You know, it's it's a it's a toss. Okay. Uh, but definitely it can work out if given the chance. Justice, sun, and clarify, I'm sorry, sun, and then the two of cups. 
So definitely for those of you who uh, are resonating with this, they will speak the truth and this relationship can pan out. It can work here. World, Knight of Wands, Two of Swords. Some are going to say, nope, right off the bat here, where others, you know, it all depends on their aggressiveness, really. Uh, you know, and it, it, I mean, I, I can agree, Capricorn. I don't like overly aggressive men. They kind of freak me out, you know. Uh, and it's like, whoa, Nelly, calm down. Okay, not that it happens a lot, but it uh, it used to. Uh, but definitely, I was like, I I was married to a German. I know how to get aggressive. <laughs> in that department. Anyway, moving on. So definitely for those of you who are willing to accept them back and for those of you who have this counterpart that is not overly aggressive, there's still a decision, but the not overly aggressive type um, and feeling those good vibes that it can work out, I feel that you'll make the right choice. That's going to be overwhelming for you because you're finally getting your wish fulfillment here, whereas others are kind of like, I don't really trust them. You know, uh, I know that this is trouble here and they're just going to do it to me again, meaning ghosting and lack of effort with this relationship. This is really about trusting your intuition, this spread for sure. So you will know. You will know, even though, I, you know, if somebody says like, Deb, I'm not intuitive, I feel like we're all a little touch of intuitive. OK, just how well do we expand it? Uh, but yeah, it's that, it's that gut feeling, you know, it's that you don't have to hear your spirit guide talking to you to be intuitive. It's just that gut feeling, you know, of whether or not, you know, you want them back is what this tells me. So that is what I have for not just Capricorn, but for all the earth signs out there. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below as well as uh, smash that like button. You guys rock. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.